Hello friends, not Mindy here again. Uh, this is the latest episode of Hubby Dubs with your host Scott, Mindy's husband, and this is day nine of Son of Man uh, devotional from By the Well for God. And I'm going to be walking you through Mindy's artwork. So she's making a pocket with this tiny little folder. And um, she's going to be decorating this page with the theme, which is Son of Man. She's going to use some light and fluffy modeling paste. Uh, you may not have the low-calorie version, and that's okay. The regular version will work, too. Um, she's using some gray color here, and I think she wants to change the color of uh, this modeling paste. I would suggest, if you're going to eat it, eat it before you put the, um, the paint in it. Probably healthier for you. Anyway, so she's using this little um, spatula to mix the color in really well. And I think she's wanting it to match the, the color scheme that she's going for. That gray doesn't quite do it. So she's going to use a little bit of green and continue to mix the colors um, so she can make it just right. Um, so the subject of this is uh, the Son of Man. It's one of Jesus' most favorite titles. It's important um, prophetically and for us. Um, so that's not quite the right color, so she wants to use a little different color of green. Um, you can read in Daniel a little about the Son of Man, but he uses that term in other prophets too. He calls Ezekiel Son of Man quite a bit as well. So now that she has it the right color, um, she's going to use a... Um, A stencil. There it is. And she's going to take her uh, modified light and fluffy paste here and um, smear it over the stencil so that she can make a really neat design. And not just there, but she can do it other places as well. <coughs> So, um, anyway, one of the interesting things about the title Son of Man is I think he uses, Jesus uses that a lot to, um, to highlight his, his humanity. He was Son of God, for sure, but he was also a human. And it's because of that humanity uh, that he can relate to us and our our issues. In fact, where does it say uh, that there's one God and one mediator between God and man? The man, Christ Jesus. It was his humanity that made him an effective mediator or makes him an effective mediator for us. So she's still deciding where she wants all of her little uh, designs here. So she set that aside, and I'm assuming that um, it's being set aside to dry, and she's going to work on some other things. Here she takes uh, a page of a book. Who knows where she pilfered it from? So if you um, can't read or just don't want to read a book, this is a perfectly legitimate uh, use for book pages. So now uh, she's going to add some color. These are just distressing the edges so that they have kind of an older look. And now that it's dry, she's going to start, you know, placing some of the accoutrement into the folder. 
and deciding where she wants all the little decals um, to go. Nothing pleases Mindy like purple. That is her favorite color. So any chance she gets to use purple, I'm sure she will. These purple flowers. If you didn't know, our uh, our wedding colors were purple and teal. So on that card, I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like uh, a a crown. You know, you see those old um, Roman crowns that kind of look like leaves. Makes me think of Paul. He says uh, that there was. He said, "Henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness," with the which he said Jesus would give him at the um, the day of his uh, judgment. Anyway, so she's decorating that. I'm assuming she's going to use that in some way to decorate the page. She taps her fingers a lot. I wonder if there's a lot of thinking about what to do next. That's okay if you have a hard time deciding. Uh, everybody else does too. I'm not sure where to go from there. So she's using, I think this is probably like a watercolor crayon or something. And she's adding the color in uh, strategic places so that she can maybe highlight it. And that uh, I'm pretty sure that that brush has water in it. That little brush pen has water in it. What I don't understand is she uses it to color all these things or to to spread that paint out, that watercolor paint. And um, kind of highlight certain areas. But then she says, nah. Maybe, nah. So as soon as she puts it on, she wipes it off again. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, maybe it held some residual color, and I just don't see it. I understand that. So I think this is another little paint uh, palette. And she's going to use some of that color as well. Give you another little highlight in Daniel. Is it Daniel 7? It says that the Son of Man was going to come with the clouds of heaven. Sometimes you have to learn to uh, to talk the same language that the Bible does. It has a lot of allegorical type language. And you find other places where um, clouds, it's not really talking about coming from clouds in the sky. But Hebrews 12, the very first verse, says that you're, uh, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And um, then in Jude, while kind of excoriating some uh, false prophets, Jude says they were clouds without water. So sometimes um, clouds means people. And that holds true when you look at some of the prophecies about Jesus is he's returning with his reward, which is his bride. Um, so yes, he's returning in the clouds, but those clouds that he's coming with are his people. Anyway, so she's still decorating here. Trying to decide what should go where. And I learned... I think it was after the last hubby dubs that this is called fussy cutting which I think means just like cutting around all the edges all she wanted was the shape of that flower so she could paint it not paint it uh, glue it down some more distressing <clears throat> distress that Cover up all the white edges. And that's really just to make it look older.
Maybe that's what God did to Adam when he made him. When Adam was like three seconds old, he looked like he was 30. Maybe God distressed him. I don't know. Something to think about. God was the original um, Bible journaler. Just going to glue down this little string of lace. And do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you use enough glue so that that lace won't go anywhere. And you probably want to use glue that um, dries clear. I would assume that that glue does. And now she's going to glue down this little um, design. Tear off that little corner. I really think her work is so pretty. She's so talented. Everything she does just looks perfect. And of course, her nails are always perfect, thanks to my pocketbook. All right. So she's going to glue, now that she's glued that together, I assume that card is part of her Bible journaling that looks like her handwriting. And she's going to glue that down. But only on two edges. And it's going to act like a little pocket. So that stuff can go in. More distressing. You really can allegor all allegorize. Is that a real word? Um, Bible journaling in in a way, taking all these little pieces, putting them together, and making something more beautiful out of them. That's what. Jesus is doing to the body of Christ, taking all of us and uh, making something beautiful. All right, there's Caesar's crown again, and she's going to glue it. Make a little pocket. All right, um, and then maybe use some letters, nine. Oh, it's a number, day nine, just so you know that's what day it came from. All right, that's everything. Uh, be sure to watch Taryn's video as well. All the links are in the description. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, Happy New Year, everybody.